So now in this video, we're going to take a look at using the capacitor as a smoothing capacitor. So this is part of a diagram I used in a single video that uh, was half an hour long. So I'm going to break apart uh, some parts of this video for shorter videos. And uh, in any case, the uh, capacitor here we're going to use as a smoothing capacitor. Usually, if you hear a smoothing capacitor, you'll probably see these smaller ones. But these are 0.47 microfarad, whereas this one is 470 microfarad. So this stores a thousand times as much energy. So for this demonstration, a very large capacitor is going to work. For smaller circuits that are using less current and uh, are uh, switching really fast, you'll be using uh, smaller ones like this. But the process of what's going on is the same. So to begin with, we're going to build just a simple LED circuit. We're not going to include the capacitor, just to look at the difference in the circuit of uh, when we have a capacitor or we don't being used to smooth the voltages. So the uh, top part of the switch we're going to plug in with the uh, jumper there and uh, make sure that's lined up right. And then now on the other side of the switch we're going to put a protective resistor first off I'm going to use a 220 ohm resistor a very common value resistor out there and uh, put it one space away from the uh, jumper there so this is going to limit current through the uh, LED right here LED is a type of diode that lights up that's what the L in LED stands for light emitting diode LED so the anode this side of the uh, component when you look at the schematic that's the long lead if you haven't trimmed these short lead is the cathode there's also a flat edge on a lot of them in case you have trimmed them but uh, cathode goes towards the negative side of the power supply so this is a schematic symbol for a battery that's commonly used even if you're not using a battery all you really care about is the voltage and that the power supply can provide enough current for the circuit which this easily can do and uh, now the yeah, power supply is off let's uh, turn uh, that on looks like we might have a problem with that switch but uh, in any case it's a simple LED circuit right now we got the 5 volts of the power supply across the load when we press the switch that's why the LED is on and uh, the LED is taking about almost 2 volts across it before it starts conducting freely after that point a voltage builds up across the resistor to limit uh, current uh, to set the current so in any case that's while the switch is on when we pull it off there's an open part of the circuit right there so no voltage gets to the resistors or LEDs and it turns off instantly so a smoothing capacitor is used when that's a problem for the voltage to be cut off from other components instantly so as I said this is a 470 microfarad capacitor it will charge instantly these little switches they kinda bounce out of the board easy but uh, now we have it where uh, the positive side because this is an electrolytic capacitor it's polarized one side has to go towards the negative side of the circuit not all capacitors are polarized so if you just see two lines you can probably use a uh, capacitor like this that isn't polarized if if you have one that is large enough but uh, in any case this one is polarized and uh, the long lead over there is where the uh, switch and the resistor are right there short lead we're going to put directly to the negative rail that's an easy way to make sure that it is always the more negative side of the capacitor but in any case as you can see here if I quickly release the switch and press it again we still have a fair amount of glow in the LED whereas without the capacitor I can't really uh, go fast enough and uh, so this circuit goes through quite a bit of current for a capacitor of this size a larger capacitor might stress the power supply while it is charging so this is probably about the largest size capacitor you want to use for a circuit like this but in any case what we can do is uh, yank out the 220 ohm resistor 
and make it so our load demands less current. So this is a one kilo ohm resistor. As I said before, the LEDs going to have about two volts across it. It's actually going to be a little bit lower now than it was before because we're reducing more current. But it's going to have about two volts across it. The rest of the voltage is going to go across the resistor and uh, the resistance is going to set the current from that point. So this is four times, a little more than four times the resistance of the 220 ohm resistor. This is a one kilo ohm resistor. So we're going to have about one fourth of the current. And as you can see there, I can release the switch and as far as we can tell from looking at the LED, if I go quick enough, you can't even tell that the LED is getting more dim. You can if you pay a lot of attention. But uh, somebody not really paying attention won't even notice the LED was getting more dim. And that's really what a smoothing capacitor is. It keeps the voltage at a point in the circuit at uh, even though it may be changing from the uh, supply it holds that voltage at a point so the rest of the circuit that needs to keep the voltage up a certain level make sure that it keeps that voltage so if your capacitor is not large enough to do that you need a larger capacitor or more capacitors you could put them in parallel their capacitance would add up but that's really all there is when you hear smoothing capacitor for whatever reason a lot of the power supply even has a capacitor here so that's probably charged to 5 volts right now which is providing the rail but you can see how small it is sudden uh, changes in demand will uh, discharge that capacitor pretty quickly and so you may need a larger one for uh, really high power circuits you may even need super capacitors like this they have a lower voltage though this is only rated at 2.7 volts but it's a 500 farad capacitor so so this has 500 this has 470 so that's almost 500 but this is in microfarads so that's one millionth of a farad so this if it's actually these cheap ones don't usually store as much as they claim but if this is actually a 500 farad uh, capacitor it is in the hundreds of farads though that's for sure but uh, if it is 500 farad, it has a little bit more than 1 million times as much energy stored at uh, 2.7 volts as this one would have at 2.7 volts. And so the uh, more demand that the load needs, the larger capacitors that you would need. And now this only stores enough charge to charge it to 2.7 volts, but you can put them in series to increase the voltage and so that's a topic for another video so there's a, a fair amount to capacitors but it's pretty simple once you understand it and so we're just focusing really on the smoothing capacitor in this video the capacitor holds a charge so that short uh, cuts in uh, power from the power supply doesn't affect the load hopefully at all 